Hey there, and welcome back to the Central Tower build. And I have resolved my problem, which you may have seen before, of what to do about the gap running around the bottom edge of these walls now that it's been attached. And I gave it a bit of thought, and this is my solution, it's not necessarily the best solution. I had thought about running just the gunnel or gutter or something around the bottom edge or a small sticky outy platformy thingy which in all fairness might have been easier to do but I've done this instead so laid out around it as you can see there are various pieces and these are actually set up like the roofs from the other towers and if you want to see what the real problem is you can see it quite clearly here yeah. You see, you can see daylight through that back corner there, it barely even stuck together, and, um, well, I'm not best pleased about the whole thing, I mean, you can still see a bit of daylight through that corner, but it's not so bad. But that's a real problem, and unfortunately this does run all the way around. But on this side... As we come around, you'll see that I got this one first one flush, so I, I don't know what I was doing. I was being special. I'm very, very special. So, you may also notice that there are all the various pieces laid up, because I've obviously pre-made, pre-etched, and pre-beveled um, all of these pieces are ready for action. So... First up, I'm going to show you fitting this. This is a fitting job, nothing is perfectly made, so I'm going to start from one side, work my way round, and I'm going to start on the side which has the gap. So I'll get the first piece fitted and I'll be back in a second. First things first though, alignments. Uh, this is a kind of a pig of a job because it was kind of never intended, so I haven't built it in a way where it works all the way around. Now, this is where the gap is, you can see like the gap is here. So this piece, wants to fit here and I want it to fit right up under in the back corner there so it blocks the gap and this so it doesn't stick flush it goes under the corner there and that is just as a convenience in order to block this gap and as you can see the walls are very flimsy there so this piece wants to come in here now I've cut these roof pieces and I, I think the word is chamfering. I'm going to use the word chamfering, it's probably the wrong word. Chamfering, beveling. Either way, I've lightly sanded these and I've tried to make it so they fit. So that this then fits something like this. What I want this to do is I want this to fit absolutely flush. So I'm trying to get it as close in as possible. And you see, now there's some misalignment in there points of this and that. So I'm even tempted to pull this to there, you see. Now, the problem we run into is whether this is exactly right for this one. And will I have to do more fitting work? So, the moral of the story is that this is going to be a bit of um, a fitting nightmare. I do love my fitting jobs, don't I? It seems to happen a lot, and it's partly because these builds never go quite how I intended them to go. So first step, I'm going to make sure that this piece that I'm holding here is aligned with both the first piece, so that the first piece goes in at the right angle, and that is going to be kind of tantamount to a success for the whole escapade, really. By making sure that it's right for the second angle. Which hopefully means that the third one will be right, and so on and therefore. And if not, I'm going to have to do various bits of shaping, fitting work as I go. I'm also going to be painting this roof black. I quite like the idea of that. And the thing I did realise, which pleases me no end, is actually it will help to block line of sight to the ground from sort of the windows up here, which will give a bit more uh, strategic interest, tactical interest to the games as it will make it easier to conceal miniatures beneath the higher levels and also make it so that the higher levels are perhaps trying to fight to the doors rather than um, get overlooks onto people outside so if you can run in under there you might be able to move around underneath the roofs and be able to get better positions 
it, I think it makes the building tactically more interesting. So I'm going to fit the first piece and I'll get back to you in a second when I will have found out whether or not it's at the right angle. So yeah, then the first bits are in. Uh, I had to partially stick this. I ended up sticking this in kind of first, matching it in with the angle on this one before messing up the stick and having to bosh it a bit. So this end's a bit loose. But if I push that up and in, and then I match this, it's a very particular angle and it all there you go it all sort of almost matches up perfectly almost so this would be the next thing to stick in and get this placement correct and I'm probably just going to spot it in at this end and then I'll glue the rest in place so I'll leave the, the long edge here unglued and I'll glue that from underneath because um, it's less mess you might be able to see there's a bit of mess from glue on the surface there and um, I'm also going to have to do various little bits of filling as well um, like I said this was never truly intended it just worked out this way so I'm going to get that done and actually we've got I've also got a funny feeling that I might have to make some kind of um, supports just to come off from the inside of the building because it feels a bit um, a bit unsteady for my tastes. Yeah, and when I say gluing it inside, I mean I flip the building over so that if I just flip the building over, you'll be able to see. Ah, you can just see white. I've glued in from underneath. I've like you know, so it's. There's still a bit of a gap, and there's still a lot of wind howling. Go away, wind. Um, wind won't go away, it's unfortunate. I wish I could just chase it off. So I'll make the next bit, and I'll stick the next piece of the roof, and I'll be back once I've worked my way around to the final bit, and I will show you the final fitting solution. Catch you in a second. So just a quick interlude here, and uh, show you what I mean. This is what I mean by sticking from below. This is not attached, right? So I need to attach this along here, and as you can see, it attaches very like how many how many hari, like not very well. But I'll glue from the inside along this edge, and the main thing is I want to get it flush with this point here, and this will be the point for the next piece of roof. The other thing I need to do is I need to make sure that the next piece of roof is in fact aligned correctly to be able to mesh with this piece of roof. So you get the picture. This is um, a vicious cycle of change. Okay, so I spot glued this piece in here, in these two points. I spot glued this into this point. And I'm going to match these tips together because I want the edges to meet one another. Then I'll glue those edges together from the bottom. And this is just what I mean. Work your way around, line everything up, glue it, line everything up, glue it. A bit of warping and twisting isn't a problem. When the glue goes on this stuff, it tends to go pretty solid. Uh, I still think it's a little bit rickety, and I'm going to have to put some kind of support structure in between here. Just more than anything, just to attach it solidly to the building. But I will get back to that in a bit once I've got most of this fitted. Final piece then, I've got it spotted in just so this edge onto this bit is spotted in, nothing is attached to the main building. And then I've decided it just doesn't really matter that it doesn't absolutely completely 100% meet right up against the end there. Well that is fine, the main thing is it mostly matches up and mostly meets up. And it won't look like too crappy from the top. So now I'm just going to line this edge with the leading edge because um, funny things happen whereby if you see the wall is getting a little bit or the the leading edges are sloping effectively as I'm going around the building and so the lateral points are slightly different for this side as they were on the other side but hopefully fingers crossed this will look cool and I will be back with this done momentarily so this is my solution to the problem of the roof that does not quite stick to the body of the building properly. 
So what I've just done is I have run. Yeah, that was me looking through the camera, and you saw my finger coming in here, and because I can't see what I'm doing. Um, but this, uh, I ran this around. So you've got runners in here, and it's just sticking the two bits together. You get very solid bond from raw material against raw material, but then there was some paint that was being attached to, and ah blah blah. Long story short, um, I needed to do extra bonding. So here, here is where you discover what not to do, and I, f I knew better. And I was stupid. Some moral stories: be patient, don't rush. But um. I took this piece and I put glue on this piece and then I tried to glue this piece into place knowing full well that if it contacted it would stick and everything would go horribly wrong and it contacted it stuck and I had to rip it off and then I had to cut it this bit away because it didn't want to come away but it wasn't bonding the two pieces together and at the moment it's absolutely paramount because now look this is strong this is strong whereas before it wasn't strong it was on the brink of just tearing away so it needed the additional bonding so that is resolved and so not entirely perfect but there you have it this is the mini roof in place and I'll paint this black like all the other roofs that I've been painting and this will help me to make it feel like the Japanese sector I think so it's now a building with a little skirt it feels pretty Oh, so pretty and witty and spry. But, actually, I do feel like it makes the building somehow fit better with the other buildings, which you'll only really get to see once I've got it finished and I do a showcase and you get to see it alongside other buildings. But I do think it makes a lot more sense like that. Also, as I said before, I really will help with blocking line of sight from floor down to the ground and having it so that there's more tactical advantage to playing the underside of the building as you approach the doors and such forth. Also additional coverage from people on high trying to snipe you. So as ever I hope you're making amazing things and um, hopefully better things without stupid things going wrong for you and neat things. I hope you think this is coming together well. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.